Hey, so I'm here to talk about contributing and more generally to open source. And so honestly, this talk really isn't for probably any of you in this room. It's more for people who want to contribute to you and to your projects. So I'm James. Hey, uh, I come out of hackerspace scene, which is much like this space. They're all over the world. Um, and I recommend them for anyone who wants to get involved in open source. Check your local community, see if there's spaces like Motion Lab Berlin that you can be involved in too. So does anyone know what this is? This graphic? So this graphic is actually, it's 100 million repositories, a billion contributions, and that's just from GitHub. It was their recent celebration image. And there's projects all over the internet and all over the world being developed in the open source sphere that people can be involved in. So I personally got started building music equipment using open designs and uh, schematics. So somebody installs Nextcloud, great. And they're like, well, how do I contribute? Well, this is a really important first step. I think if you want to understand open source, you have to use open source. You have to use it in your own life as much as you can. You want to test things, try things. If you try Nextcloud, then try SyncThing, try other services, see how they work, and develop more of an understanding about them. And you can join community, and people watch videos and listen to podcasts, but it, you really become more involved as you get deeper into issue trackers like GitHub and projects. And what you can do is you find a piece of software and you test it. You find bugs, or if someone else found a bug, you recreate that bug. And then you document this process of you testing. And you can submit that documentation back to a developer, back to an issue. You always want to include logs. And you always want to be positive. Because every time you're engaging with someone, even though it's the internet, it feels like an empty void sometimes. It's real people developing real projects and they're probably happy to have your contribution. So you want to be positive, and you want to keep learning all the time. Keep learning about things. Never feel like you're some authority figure. You're just always in process. And what you're looking for is contributions welcome, help wanted, help needed, pull requests wanted. And you, this is the sort of process that I would do. So you subscribe to issues and pull requests in GitHub. You don't need to comment. You can just subscribe and watch them. It's like a slow conversation that's happening over years. It's not a fast race. And you can read documentation, and you can also look upstream. Like if you're interested in the Nextcloud calendar, you really want to look at SaberDAV. You want to look at the CDAV library, iCalJS, full calendar. There's all these other projects that are connected to it. It's not just the Nextcloud calendar team making Nextcloud calendar. And there's always more to learn and experiment with. So it, say you want to send something in, like a pull request to Calendar for a feature you want. Well, in that case, the first thing you want to do is you want to check for any rules that the developer has requested. And you want to try to follow that so that you can actually give code that's useful, that you can give a contribution that's going to be accepted into the project and not just waste a lot of time or cause frustration. And the other thing is you want to be patient. And that comes back to being positive, and continuing to learn, and experiment with that code. So this is something that I contributed back in 2017. And I realized this got me a lot more involved with this project. So it's this, this, this picture. Um, I was interested in this project and Nextcloud Pi. And the reason this is interesting is because it's a DIY device, but there was no picture of what it was. And I saw this, and I thought, like, what is this? When I think about it, I don't, see, I don't see anything. It's confusing. And so I thought, well, maybe I can make a device that it'll be reflective of what the project is. Okay? So this is a conference page from last year from our talk on Nextcloud Pi. But what it really is, is this is a photo that I took on my camera phone in 2017. So there's nothing professional or fancy about this. It's a project that I found on GitHub for a Raspberry Pi 3 case, which I forked. I edited in Inkscape, learned how to laser cut, learned how to solder, built it myself, wrote the documentation, submitted it back to GitHub. Others have since forked it, built their own things out of it. And eventually, this actually got accepted to nextcloud.com slash devices. And when you go on to nextcloud.com devices, this is what you see when they're asking, what are different devices available? Well, one of them is the DIY Nextcloud Pi. 
So just believe in yourself because you have, probably do have something you can contribute if you really think about it and work at it. Thanks.